My name's Andrew, I'm a trainee pharmacist, but as of a couple of days I will qualify. A key responsibility for um, me as a pharmacist will be to uh, talk to the patients, to educate them on the medicines they're taking. Pharmacy is very much a patient safety um, uh, career path. It's very much your responsibility to know and understand the drugs and make sure it's going to be right uh, for that condition in that person. When I was six years old, I wanted to work in a bank. <laughs> I know, I was crazy. I was just, in those days, I was just money obsessed. All I wanted to do was count money every day, and I just thought that's what a bank, working in a bank was, just counting money. Uh, my dad was a farmer, and um, I knew pretty much from the start that I didn't want to be a farmer. He has to work very, very long hours. In the summer, he doesn't, he doesn't really get any time off because he's always harvesting or doing something. I wanted to be able to take summer holidays off and uh, things like that, so I knew farming wasn't for me. Um, I thought I wanted to be something to do with finance to begin with because I've always liked maths um, right up until I did my A-levels. It's much harder and that, was, was that step from GCSE to A-levels was the hardest transition of any of my subjects. And then that sort of to start putting doubt in my mind whether maths was the thing I, I wanted to follow. I was used to being so good at maths and all of a sudden I couldn't do it. Uh, so that, that really knocked me for six. I was desperately trying to drop it, but no one would let me. I'm a bit of a financially driven person, uh, so there was always that that attracted to me because it was always the accountants and the investment bankers that had the nice big fast cars. And I would love all of that, but I decided the trade-off wasn't worth it for me. I wanted to work in very much a people job. I wanted my life to be less stressful. Um, and sort of follow my science routes. I picked my AS level subjects in the most logical manner I could think of. I picked my top four grades um, at GCSE. And then when I did my A2 levels, uh, I picked my top three grades from that, which then gave me uh, maths, biology, and chemistry. So anything like medicines, pharmacy, physio, anything like that I could have done. I decided to go with pharmacy over um, medicine, mostly because my chemistry was my favourite subject. I started uh, a four-year Masters of Pharmacy degree and we have to do one year's what is called pre-registration. That is responsible for bringing all your um, education together and applying it to a clinical setting because what you learn out of a textbook isn't the same as what happens every day to the patients. I think one of the best moments of my entire life was when I graduated. That was one of the best days ever. I had an amazing group of friends around me. My parents were there and all my friends' parents were there and we had, um, had awesome parties and it was a really good day. That was one of the highlights, I think. The first couple of patient visits are quite terrifying. There are so many pieces of information you have to get from the patient. Um, during a counselling session, so in a conversation with them. It is stressful. I mean, you do have to know so much information. You can never know enough. You're always learning. Um, but it's that element of it that I really like. Everyone has, in a hospital, everyone has so much to give each other. The physios can teach you stuff. The nurses can teach you stuff. The doctors can teach you stuff. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I mean, uh, pharmacy might not be for everyone. In fact, if you don't like chemistry, it's definitely not for you. Um, but... I think if you've, got, if you've got a love for chemistry and biology and you like people, it's a great way forward.